Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Pigas and Gaijin here. Let's get straight into it. Them road and, and them races. Yeah, so Japanese kids, um, as you know, kids around the world say the darnest things, and Japanese kids are no different. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Japanese kids sometimes say things that they don't really even understand what they're really saying. Yo, what kind of Polish is your thought, daddy? You know, sister, the Japanese pit in them just go road dog. Them road and, and them racist. So we don't know what you are talking about. Right, but you have to consider historically that... Historical what? Virgin, <laughs> yo, Virgin, you must say. Me not the point, what you the point, you know? Listen, I have spoken, I'm dealing with these kids. And they know what they're doing. They know they're doing the wrong thing. Because when they are corrected and confronted, they show remorse, one. And two, they admit to knowing they're, they're doing something rude. Because I have spoke, I have said to them, hey, if I told your mother that you called me a gorilla or a monkey, is that okay? Them nearly pissed themselves off. Yada, sensei, yada. So I don't know what you're going on about. You need to think that, I don't know why you're making people think that Japanese people are all that. They are same and rude, just like any other people. And whatever. All right, so, so you, you wanted the show? I don't know. You want to know? I don't know, bro. You want to do the video? No, it's not my, it's not my, it's your, it's your, your video. Alright, if you don't break, that's what I'm saying. Move, now. Let me finish Be recording, please. Be usual on yourself and stop trying to placate to the weaves. Alright, my God. Sometimes we can't stand on my body with myself more right now. Alright, Jay, look at more. But when you think about it, I've been here for four years and it's true. Sometimes the kids make comments and make jokes and say words that could be deemed racist. Or insensitive, but historically Japan is not racist because of the homogenous society that they have. But you have a point, don't it? Them look, them say gorilla, monkey, unko, which is shit, teacher, and stuff. I mean, crap these kids, man. Well, tell me what you think down below in the comments, and yeah, are they? Are they not? And that's where they grew up to be. Oopsie. Yeah, with Ochi dying, it's so hot. I want to know is when Japan moved back to Seattle. It is hot, it is summer in Japan. And this year has been one of the highest recording temperatures for ever, ever. There's a place in Japan called Kumagaya, Saitama, which recorded a 41 degrees Celsius temperature. And it didn't feel like 40 and up there. So, me move Lord, man, may I tell you, it's really hot in Japan. And it has resulted in death. Right? At least 11 people have died, according to reports the heat wave and there was, it was a sad story a kid in Aichi you know was outside playing and he said he felt weak felt tired um went to the shade he got tired and then he passed out with the hospital dead uh I don't know what Japan is trying to prove with staying out in the heat or not using their air conditioning because it makes you weak to condition the kids or condition their minds because when they grew up they never have a breather eater. Global warming is like, we're trying, people don't believe that global warming is real. It's like someone said to Mother Nature, hey, can you prove to us, give us a sign that there's global warming so that others will believe. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. That's Mother Nature. <laughs> All right. Woo! And so, yeah. Ole, 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 ole. Here. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Ding, 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 feeling hot, hot, hot. The ding, ding. Ding. shirt. Nobody will even that. You know what? Make me go to bed. Just make sure I say her up and finish the video. Come on, go to bed. I want to sleep. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so. Yeah, so please stay hydrated. Japanese summers, summers are the worst. Even in Jamaica, where I'm from, I hear people are bad about the heat. And, you know. Not because we have melanin, that doesn't mean we need to take protection, sunscreen and those things. Because our skin can take so much. You know what I mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, this year's not my World Cup's song? The World Cup's over. France has won. My team. Yes, pseudo Africa has won. Because many of the players on the teams have ancestors traced back to their African ancestors. And so, Trevor Noah... Funny guy made a joke about that it was actually Africa that won the World Cup and not France to show that to, to, to kind of uh, bring them into the Africanness so he could celebrate because he's from South Africa. Obviously, persons get offended because 2018 is a year of offense and to be offended by things that don't need to be offended and jokes are no longer jokes and you can't say things that you're not supposed to say. And so, therefore, um, the French ambassador got upset and wrote an open letter to him, which he properly tore to shreds. 
not literally but metaphorically with these arguments and know that how immigrants are seen as only good when they're doing something good for their colonial former colonial country uh, or the country that they're now living in but when something bad occurs uh they are seen as whatever country they're coming from so for instance karen benzema soccer player sorry with soccer football player from france um said that when he scores, he is French, but when he doesn't score, he's Arab, you know, and Muslim ties and whatever. Uh, Mesut Ozil recently retired from re retired from international football because German media was using him as a scapegoat and calling on again and, and basically saying he's the reason why they lost, especially with the fact that he wasn't a full Aryan race person. You know, he's actually has Turkish heritage. He's, ha he's half Turkish, I think, or he's from Turkey. And so, yeah, it's really interesting that the world still is trying to be so divisive when if you cut all of us, we bleed. If all of us need oxygen to survive and, you know, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Basic things like that are, are needed. And so as human beings, we should be living our lives to the best of our ability and trying to enjoy our time here on Earth or whichever dimension that we're in our time or space. Yo, you have anything to say, Dre? Yo, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. You know what I mean? Don't talk to me. Make sure you check me out on the video, Trina. He's not even good. All right, so in the comments down below, tell me if you like the video. If not, I don't know what else to tell you. And don't know, big up. Check out my other channel. I have a secondary channel where I do reactions to sports. It's much more well. Please check it out. I'll leave the link in the description down below. And yeah, just live good with people. As Bob Marley would say, one love. One heart, let's get together and feel all right. What we say, let's get together and feel all right. Let them all pass out there. Dirty remarks. One love. There is a question I really love to ask. Yes, one love. Yo, yo, Dre, pick us up. Yo, you know, she's saying get blinded by the sushi and the green tea and the flat back to them in Japan. Well, last you see a tree, the vegetable butter, my dog. Yo, go easy.